So, you want to learn how to sound like you're from Birmingham, eh? Well, I'm sure I can help with that. Follow me, and no fighting. Right, let's keep this quick. If you want to be a PQ blinder, you have to sound like one. So listen very carefully. I'll say it only once, but if you want, you can replay the video to make sure you've learnt everything. But I will say it only once. Right, let's start with the vowels. Very, very important vowel in the Birmingham accent is the U. We don't say but, cut. We say put, but and cut. It's an U uh sound. U, uh, U, uh, U. Uh. Like a monkey. Don't be tempted to say under. Under. Oh, oh, oh. Is that clear? Good. Listen to this example. <sighs> Together. Bath, I shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Good. Let's carry on. Now let's talk about diphthongs, right? So, you'll notice in a word like this, gain. The A moves. It goes like this. A, A, game, name, fame. It's a lot less of an A and it's more of an I. So it's actually more like you're going from an I to an E rather than an A to an E. Listen to the difference. Name, name. Let's move on. So in words where in RP you might say this sound, O. Oh. In Birmingham, we say, ow, ow, it's wider. It's actually a lot closer to London. So instead of saying float, we say flout. Can you see how I'm going from a wide ow, ah? Uh, it's like ah, ow, flout, gout, boat, no. Listen to the difference again. Float, flout. Have a look at this example. He knows better words, right, Pa? He knows. Owes. All right, let's move on. I sound. Now, in RP, you might say things like quit, fit, bit. However, in Birmingham, we say quit, bit, fit. Do you see how I'm making an E sound rather than an E? It's a lot more forward. Bit, E. It's closer to an E. It's closer to E than anything else, really. E, E, it's in the nose, all right? Quit, bit, fit. Listen to this example. Whose duty it is? Whose duty it is? It is, it is. Moving on, in RP, you would say words like bath, grass, and pass. So that A becomes an R. However, in Birmingham, we say bath, path, grass, fast, past, all right? It's an A ah sound rather than an R. Ah. So in RP, when you would say R, ah, replace it with an A, ah, like you're about to say apple, all right? Apple. And finally, the vowel sound Y. When words end in a Y, like funny, money, or I can't think of another word, penny, thick Birmingham accents will pronounce the Y as an O, penny, money. It's like a diphthong at the end. It's like you've put a U in it. You say money, penny, penny. Move your tongue from laying flat to moving upwards and it'll block the passage of air a little bit to help you go money. Just listen to this. Tommy! Tommy. It's complex, but I'm sure with practice, you'll get there. All right, let's move on to consonants. Birmingham, like a lot of accents in the UK, is non-rhotic. Now, non-rhotic means you don't pronounce the R if it comes after a vowel. So, for example, the word first, first, it's actually closer to what we call a schwa, which is a neutral sound that requires nothing going on in your mouth. It's an uh, uh, uh. So, words like first, 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 it's open, it's an open sound first. It's not first, it's not first, all right? First, it's open, first. When you get words that end in ER, like mother, father, however, instead of going uh, we actually release it into more of an a uh sound, like you would say apple. Mother, father, however, 
And there's one more thing you need to know about the letter R in a Birmingham accent, all right? If an R is followed by a vowel, so if a vowel comes after an R, a lot of the time people from Birmingham will roll the R, give it a bit of a tap. Now this might seem strange in an accent from the British Isles, but I promise you I'm telling the truth. I wouldn't say roll your R's on every single R, you'll sound a bit ridiculous. It wavers between being a R and just a tap, for example. Listen to that, for example, for example. I don't really say for example. You can if you want, but if you're proper brummy, for example. So these R's need to have a bit of a tap, and the way we do a tap is our tongue, the tip of our tongue, uh, taps on what we call the alveol, on what we call the alveolar, oh, it's very hard to say, the alveolar ridge, all right? So, tip of your tongue, that's your alveolar. So, your teeth are there, uh, a bit of skin above your teeth, that's the alveolar ridge. So you want, uh, up there, all right. So, all right, or du, du, du. It's like you're saying a du. It's like you're saying du, 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 du. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so we've got that little bit of a tap, all right. Now, let's hear some examples from the boss. All right, boys, you're all here. You're all here. It's not you're all here. You're all here. You're all here. Birmingham's a tricky one to understand because we do link our words quite a bit, all right? You're all here, you're all here. It's not you're all here, you're all here, all right? Notice that, that tapped out, you're all here. <coughs> Sorry. Do anything to embarrass her. To embarrass her. To embarrass, embarrass, embarrass. All right, notice it's not a proper embarrass. It's just a little tap, all right? Embarrass. Embarrass, it's like a little, it's like you're saying embarrass, 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 embarrass. Last example. Your cousins, your horses. Your horses. And that example leads me very well onto my next consonant, which is H. And very often in Birmingham, we drop our H's, so we don't say them, all right? So notice in your horses, we don't say your horses, we say your horses. Almost like the word horse starts with an O. Okay, final consonant, the letter T. You'll notice that T's in the Birmingham accent are quite delicate. So for example, if I said the word to you, put, 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 you'll notice that the T is quite weak, put bit, bet. It's like the, the, the teeth don't quite close in a way, but, bet, you know, we actually make the tea more with our tongue rather than closing our teeth together, which is what a lot of people do. So, but, pet, bit, bit. There's a little gap in my teeth, all right, and I'm tapping my alveolar ridge, bit. It's like it's a breathy tea, breathy. It's kind of unvoiced, all right, bit. It's like you're whispering the end of the word, okay? Here's a very good example. Similar to the one described in that report. In that report. It's like a whisper at the end of the word. In that report. Now let's talk about the town, all right? The town. Now in Birmingham, we do tend to go down at the end of our words quite a bit. So most of our sentences in Birmingham do end on a down, all right? So we'll finish our sentence and end it on a down. Okay, I think I've taught you all I know. So we're gonna do a practice sentence, all right? Let's see how you do. Our practice sentence goes like this. This place is now under no management by order of the Peaky Blinders. Let's go through it. This place, this, remember our I sound when we've got an I, this, Plies, plies, remember, plies. This place is now under, under, no management. All right, pretty much the same, under no management. By order of, see how we link those words, order of, order of, with a little tapped, by order of the PQ blinders. Have a go at practicing that every now and again, you should be all right. Thank you very much for joining me, I hope this has been useful. If you uh, enjoyed this video, then uh, press the button that says subscribe. And uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Uh, not me, obviously, it'll be uh, the other lady that uh, runs this YouTube channel. But uh, it's been a pleasure. And just remember, 
There are lots of accents in the UK and Birmingham is only one of them, but it's wonderful. Birmingham is a city that extends far beyond the Peaky Blinders. It is a vibrant, lively and down-to-earth city. So if you're ever in the UK, pay it a visit. Ta-ta!